Hey everyone, it's Veronica and in the next two minutes I'll show you how to create a quick and easy timer using an animation like this one. That's just a five second timer, so let's check out how this was done. And a shout out to my friend Dave at Articulate for showcasing one of my samples in a recent webinar here in Australia about this very feature. So what you need, let's do it from scratch. You're going to need a circle or, well, any shape, but circles work well in this example. So a circle for a background and another circle. You can copy that for a timer. Uh, you can play around with your design colors and things like that. Just make sure that they are perfectly on top of each other like so. So for this top circle, we're going to add an animation. We're going to go to the wheel animation and just for the sake of ease we're just going to make it five seconds you can make it up to 59 seconds so you could have a 30 second timer or whatever you need so that's the timer there and here we have a layer that's going to basically tell the learner well time's up buddy you have run out of your timer and you need to do whatever you need to do next so to get to that layer we're going to use a trigger to show layer times out not what the timeline reaches but when the animation completes on oval 2 and which animation well the entrance animation which is that wheel so this now should work like so we're going to count down to 5 and the layer will pop up when it's finished there we go and that is how you can create a very quick and very easy timer using animation and a trigger. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you at the next two minute storyline tip.